A local company says 36 players in tonight's Super Bowl are wearing its helmets. Shut Sports, based in Litchfield, will be on display for the entire world. And this morning, they're giving you amazing access inside their facility. They are the latest subject of our Made with Pride series. Here's Ryan Dean with part three, Protecting the Face. He actually made basketball rims, had an idea for a face guard, and they're still made here in Litchfield. Shut Sports has about 300 employees working in two factories in two small towns. In Salem, they're focused on the head. Here in Litchfield, it's all about the face. The helmet don't work good without a face mask. Chris Papin is on his 16th year at Shut. I've seen a lot of face masks. And when he sees his team's hard work protecting the pros, he still gets excited. I do. I actually do. I'll be like, that's my guard. That's my guard. That's my guard. It's, yep, absolutely. He's not alone. These proud workers love to play a game while watching the game. I've got grandchildren, then I've got great-grandchildren. And whenever we are all watching it together, Grandma, did you make that one? <laughs> There's a good chance Grandma did make that one because this team moves like a quick strike offense. They can cut twist and smooth up to 4,000 face masks a day. You can see them on the football field and at home plate. It's very busy. This stays running like a well old machine. That process starts with coils of wire that can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. It's hard to believe this is a face mask. I mean, this it is will a be a face mask by the time it's done. You can't picture that it's gonna be bent so many different ways and end up being on a football helmet. Helping put this steel puzzle together is Sean Brackett. It's a wonder as to where it's gonna end up. All right, so check this out. This has gotta be the coolest part of the process. You have a naked face mask, but it needs to look like this before it goes to the team. To do that, it needs to get dipped. This looks like it's boiling hot, right? Wrong. It's air and powder. And it has to be dipped just right. Too quick, and it could chip on the field. Too long, and it won't fasten to the helmet. You guys can't have a bad day. We can't have a bad day. If we have a bad day, you're going to see it somewhere else. Yeah. Making sure that doesn't happen is Rhoda Van Eider. She gives it a final inspection before it's packaged and shipped out. Whenever I go across the street and look at all of our helmets and stuff that we make, it just astounds me. Wow, but well we have one more story in our Made with Pride series. Tomorrow morning on Today in St. Louis, we'll take you inside the testing lab. Workers are trying to develop the safest helmet possible. And you have to see how they put a helmet through a cold weather test. And if you missed any of the previous stories, you can see them right now on KSDK.com. Just search SHUT, that's S-C-H-U-T-T.